this is the current state of my bedroom. It is horrendous. Absolutely horrific. And we just pulled a bunch of stuff out from under the bed. But like, I'm so tired of it. Hello friends, welcome back to my home and welcome to part three, the final part, I hope, of the bedroom declutter series in Confessions of an Emotional Hoarder. If you are new here, my name is Christina and I run this channel because I like old books, I like vintage fashion, and I want to live a practical vintage lifestyle. You will have to forgive me if I seem a little bit more low energy or if I sound stuffy, I am sick. But I've been staring at this last corner of the bedroom and I've been dying to get it done. So today we're going to start. I don't know actually if I'm going to get the entire bedroom done. I mean the entire rest of the bedroom done today because I am feeling sick. But I just wanted to start. I've been just staring at the, the closet of doom and... It's time. It's time to banish the closet of doom from my bedroom. Also, welcome to one of the pieces of vintage I did keep, which is this gorgeous 1940s house dress that I will never ever let go from my cold dead hands. You can pry it. That wasn't how the saying goes. <laughs> Don't let the vintage look and the accessories fool you. I do not feel well. But the show must go on because I can't stand how messy this corner of the room looks. If you have missed my last two videos, I will be linking them down below in a playlist or you can click the card which is right up here and watch the first of the series. If you are new here and you don't know what I'm talking about, I am what I would consider to be an emotional hoarder uh, with ADHD and a lot of sentimental value placed into things, but recently I have been realizing that those things that I love so much have been stopping me from doing other things that I love, like filming and having people over to my house and generally just being creative, writing books, all of the things that I could be doing and instead I'm struggling under a house that's too full of stuff. It's a whole story if you want to watch the first few videos, but today we are tackling the second half of my bedroom. Um, but I feel like that's enough explanation, especially because this is the third in a series, so let's get to decluttering the bedroom closet. Nope. Hi. What are you doing? So if you like watching decluttering videos or if you need a little motivation to tackle a project in your life, please keep watching, subscribe, stick around, I would love to have you. Hello to all my new subscribers, I'm so glad that you're here, and let's get to decluttering. Wow, that was like the shortest intro I've ever done for this whole series. Most of them are just too small for her and I never got around to getting rid of them. And some of them I don't like and some of them are just worn out. Um, so there we go. Check in. Am I feeling good? 
No. Do I want to keep going? Yes, because I don't <laughs> want to leave the mess. So I have about an hour until I have to go to school pickup, and I'm going to go through this second shelf, and we'll see how far I get today. give you a little update before I finish off the shelves today this morning um, last night I was not feeling good enough to sit and give you an update or talk to the camera but I just I finished the two shelves yesterday and then I got really annoyed at the mess that was on the floor and I decided to just tackle it but I finished it up last night and it felt really good I it's been a long time since I've woken up in a room that felt good. I I don't wake up and think I have so much to do now. I think, oh, it's clean. <laughs> Today I am going to tackle the last. I have three shelves to go. There is one area on the floor which you just saw me declutter in the video that is mainly costumes and it's my husband's stuff i'm not gonna touch that because it's not mine and most of it's costumes that he uses for his short films so i'm not gonna bother even going through it it's all his he can he can deal with that if he wants to so the floor level is clean i have to declutter the top two shelves in the doom closet and then my top shelf in my clothing closet and I need to go through all of my vintage suitcases and make sure that there are no things stored in them because I have previously stored clothing and a lot of stuff in those suitcases. Um, I do keep scarves in a suitcase and it's easy to access and things, but I do have to declutter a lot of accessories. I have to declutter, it looks clean, but I have a whole bunch of necklaces in the top of this dresser that... I can't access easily so I never wear them. I would really like to figure out how to have a visible um, necklace area. But the other thing I've been thinking about is rearranging the bedroom. So our house is very old and the corner over here where this dresser is, is sinking very slowly which means that the bed is right on the edge of the slope of the room. and. 
it scoots. Every time I sit on it, it scoots a little bit that way. And that's kind of annoying. So I think I'm going to move the dresser uh, over to the wall that the bed is on and move the bed over to where the dresser is and then probably move the vanity shelf. Today I'm going to focus on the shelves and I really need to declutter my hats that has been on my on my mind for a while but I think before I declutter the hats I will probably move the furniture um, and then we will see how it's going. So, since most of this is bins to declutter, I want to talk about what's inside the bins and whether I need them or not. Just kind of go through my feelings on what I had in these closets. I'm actually surprised that there's not more clutter clutter. A lot of it is just accessories that I shoved into a bin because I don't wear them very often or at all. Um, and I didn't necessarily feel ready to get rid of them, but I also don't use them. So this is something I want to talk about. I have vintage gadgets that I I can't remember. I had a vintage hair dryer that I think I may have given to Goodwill because I intended to try it out, but I never did because I don't really do my hair wet, so it was useless. Um, but this is a, a shaver. It's got all of the pieces. It's a Lady Remington, and I basically just need to clean it and then see if it works. But it's, it's one of those things that I think is very fun to have, but I don't know that it's useful. So I'm going to have a category of those things in this particular shelf where it's like, it's fun to have, it might be fun for a future video. And then honestly in this, it's just scarves, which I need to declutter. So I think it's, it's okay to keep prop items. That's one of the things I'm thinking about as I think about, you know, running a YouTube channel. Um, some things may just be prop items, but that's okay. As long as I'm not keeping it just to keep it, if that makes sense. So I'm going to have a prop items bin, um, where I'm going to put in anything that I might keep for future use or, uh, as a prop for a video. I do plan to make more 1950s videos. Then I have a bag of wigs. And I know this is not how you're supposed to keep your wigs. And, um, I, uh, I'm sure a lot of people would be aghast. I should probably get, <laughs> well, but I do occasionally use wigs. So again, that kind of goes in the prop items category. Um, I have another wig that I'm going to use for maternity photo shoot soon. So this lovely little 1920s lady is full of handkerchiefs. And for a while I was considering getting rid of all of my handkerchiefs. However, the more I'm trying to reduce waste in my house, the more I'm realizing I can use these while I am sick for whatever reason. So what I really need with her is to find a place where I can hang her where she is easy to get. I might just hang her in the closet so that when I need a hanky, I can pull one out. I can keep one in my purse or my side table or wherever. It's a good eco-friendly way to not use tissues. <laughs> so uh, I've moved you a little bit because now I've come to something that I can declutter and that is my little collar container. <sighs> This is gonna be a little bit hard, but I think I need to just let them go because I have always loved collars. I have this pink one, but I I don't particularly like tight things around my neck and these are all a little bit tight on me. Um, 
and I don't generally have a lot of dresses or tops that these could go with so they are so very beautiful but I don't know this one doesn't even fit um, I don't I I've had these for years I've literally had this one for like 10 years it's so pretty but it's just not something that I see myself wearing um, ever I have this little lacy one I've worn this for a video I think this one goes around the back but again these are just things that I don't I don't see myself wearing um they are pretty this one actually feels kind of nice and it's a larger one so maybe I'll keep one maybe I'll keep this one we'll see if I ever wear it but this one is massive <laughs> This, uh, I think is meant to be worn more like a little shawl, which I might keep this one as well because I like the idea of that. But then I also have these beautiful collars that were made by, um, fairy tale collars. And I love them. They are so very cute. These ones are larger and a lot more comfortable to wear. So I'm going to keep these until summertime and reevaluate whether I will actually wear them because I love the concept. I think they're adorable, uh, but I just have to see if I have clothes that would work with these in the summertime. And I don't know why I wear them in the summertime and not in fall or whatever, but uh, the other thing, all right, gloves, I want to be a gloves person. But I don't know that I am a gloves person because I like to feel things. Um, they would be useful in the winter, so I think I'm just going to keep a, a very few pairs. Uh, like I will keep the green ones. I tend to like colors. Colors. I don't know where the other yellow one is. I am not keeping these elbow length black gloves because I will never wear them. Um, these I will have to evaluate. Another thing I should be doing is trying them on. I have a purse that matches these. And it is, or at least I used to have one. It is very cute. I love these. I, but the fingers are so short. My, the bottom of my finger is here. Can you see the, the difference? I don't understand. Why are the fingers so short? They are not comfortable. So if I can find the purse, I will uh, purge these. I can always find better plaid gloves. That is what I've told myself. With things that I would wear in theory, if they're not 100% comfortable, I can find better ones. Um, I'm never going to wear peach elbow length gloves. Um, these ones I really, really love. Again, I'm going to try them on because they are beautiful, like kid leather, whatever that's called, gloves, but I don't know if they fit. They're actually, they fit, I was going to say they fit like a glove, and then I realized they fit perfectly. They do need to be worn in, I think. So I'm going to keep these ones. These would be good for driving because they're very grippy. I have these brighter green ones which I'm going to try on I, I really like colorful gloves I think that's the thing that might be why I don't really wear my gloves because most of them are white or cream or black and I'm not into those this these again they are snug but I like them I prefer my gloves to be snug rather than kind of loose um, and for winter, I think they'll work. I have a dress that they match perfectly, so I will keep these ones. This is the montage where I just try on gloves. It's thrilling, I know. See, they are so cute. This is one of those things. This is the thing that I have a hard time getting rid of because I want to be a gloves person. And I could see myself wearing these with things that are hanging in my closet that I have kept. And they're stretchy and they're comfortable and they're fitted. And the, oh. Okay, I will keep these. But if I don't wear them in a year, 
in a full rotation of all of the seasons, then I will get rid of them. Fingers are, well, they're, yeah, they're too short, so I'm going to get rid of these. Um, again, I don't like elbow length gloves, they're not comfortable, so the elbow length ones are going. Oh, they actually fit, once they're on, they look nice. <laughs> when they're off the hand, they look terrible. The last pair in the box are lavender, and they are very, very pretty, and I hope these fit nicely, because these ones I do really want to keep. Well, I have to fix the thumb, but I can sew, so that should be easy. Uh, <laughs> but, I will keep those. I've kept one, two, three, six pairs out of, I don't know how many, plus two that I'm looking for. So then I have this purse, which I've had for a long time, but it's actually just kind of a storage thing at the moment. And it has a whole bunch of waist ties and ribbons and things that I never pull out, ever. I put them in here and I don't think I've ever pulled out any of them. I, I do still have this dress, but I don't, I don't wear the ties. So, I am not keeping any of this. So now that this is empty, the question is, um, do I keep it? Because it is pretty cute. I don't know that I would sell it because it's got a lot of little stringies coming off of it. Um, but purses are something that I'm going to be going through and decluttering, so I will put this with my purses for later. Uh, and then I have this, which was supposed to be full of sheer scarves, but has become full of linens, which will go to my linen stash to declutter with the linen stash. If you find yourself getting overwhelmed by things, like you feel like you have too many things to declutter, take a moment to think whether the items you're trying to declutter are in the right category or not. Um, because like I said, I will declutter these when I declutter my linens, which is not in this room. In here are a bunch of these sheer scarves. I do wear the colorful ones and actually I wear all of these. So these can go right back in. Those are fine. Here is a sheer scarf I do not wear. Hello. So this one can go. It's very fun. It's very colorful. But I don't wear it. Then I have a bin of lipstick that I thought I might use eventually after my daughter raided my lipstick. I haven't used any of it. I mean, I've used it, but I haven't reached for any of these, so I'm going to get rid of them because I don't need this much lipstick. I really only wear red.
am going to declutter the shelf hats. I will potentially consider moving all of the uh, furniture before I declutter the wall hats. Oh, that's not true. I can already see quite a few that I would get rid of. But I'm going to go through my berets first because that's the easy one. I have this. Never going to wear it. Um, my beloved fox ears. I keep this was made by Mary and Mary's Menagerie. I will hopefully if I remember I will put her down below. She made me this one. Um, she made me this one I think. Oh no I can't remember exactly. She also made me this one. She makes very very cute berets. Go support small business if she is still selling them. Um, I have this one which I embellished myself keeping this white one is one of my favorites for winter I think it's really cute I have a mushroom beret from a company called Carmico which I who I was supposed to collaborate with an interview last year or the year before and it kind of fell apart and I never got to but I would highly recommend going to check out their website I also have a mushroom shirt and a strawberry sweater from them um, I'm going to try to reach out again because I still would really like to do the interview and the video, but, um, this is very, very cute keeping. Um, pink. I feel like a lot of these are cute. This is the one that I think I'm going to get rid of. I tried to make a cute, uh, strawberry beret myself. I don't really like the way it turned out. I'm not gonna wear it. So, I'm gonna get rid of this one. Um, another white beret, but this one's crochet, and I do wear it. Another one from Mary Newberry's Menagerie. This one's a pumpkin. Very, very cute again. Uh, this gray one that I never wear. Uh, brown one and a green one. We'll keep both. It's good to have lots of colors of berets. I have my favorite mushroom little thing. Beret. And an embroidered one that they no longer make. And then a plain red one. So these are all the ones I'm going to keep. This one was sent to me by a friend and it was her grandmother's, I believe. Um, it is a little too small for me, I think. Maybe not, maybe, but it is really pretty. I like this color of yellow. And it's, I think she said it was like from the 20s or something. And she, the grandma added all these buttons herself. So that is my berets. And then hats. through the closet hats. I am just gonna pull them out of this bin and show them. This first thing is not a hat, it's a flower crown, strawberry crown that my friend made me. So this is a keep. This is one of my favorite summer hats. This one falls under the range of being a little too young for me, I think. So, purge. Honestly, I have so many hats, I'm literally just going to hold them up and say keep or purge. Um, purge. Keep, uh, uh, perch keep this one is so fun and it's a little hard to see on camera but it's covered in little cherries it is not my style of hat so I'm going to purge it purge this one came to me having seen better days it's gonna go purge 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 um keep this is a child's hat and I did not know it was a child's hat when I bought it um, and I am going to purge it because my children do not wear hats. This one I think is a keep. I like the veil a lot. Ugh, purge. Um, keep. This was my wedding veil, so it's a keep for sentimental reasons. Um, keep. I like the way this sort of is supposed to fit, like, to the side. Bin number two, I have this feather monstrosity. <laughs> It is fun, but it's annoying to wear, and I'm going to get rid of it. This, which is very similar to the other blue hat I kept, and I think I'm going to get rid of this one. This is a hat I need to restore. Please don't at me for the condition of it. This is a beautiful 40s hat. Keep. Another hat that I really love. It's giant. Keep. This one, I don't really wear brown. Purge. It just It just doesn't suit my head. Another purge. I don't really wear dusty pink. Actually, this I prefer to the other brown hat, so I'm going to keep this one. Another brown hat. For a brown-haired girl, I'm going to get rid of this one. This one's really pretty, and I like the white details, so I'm going to keep that perch. It's not my style. This is a magnificent 1920s hat that I am absolutely keeping. This is a keep. Purge. 
another keep, another brown hat. As fun as this is, I am not an avant-garde person, and this is an avant-garde hat, so off she goes. Purge, I don't really like leopard print. And then I have a weakness for feathers. I do really like this one. We have one more thing to go through. Ugh. So now let's go over to my wall. I know I said I was maybe going to move furniture first, but I'm just gonna go through my hat walls. My wall hats. Because I've, I've gotten this far and I think I just need to finish. That is not the last step, but it's close to it. Forgive me for throwing them all on the floor. I didn't throw them. I put them down nicely, but that's the hat purge done. Um, I am posting a lot of these things onto my Facebook page before I put them on my Instagram sales page, so I'm sorry if there are hats you saw that I put in this pile that you wanted. If they're gone, uh, it's because I sell to my friends first, but um, that was actually a lot less painful than I thought it would be. are one of my odd weaknesses because I don't particularly like to switch my purses out and yet I have several <laughs> so this is a category where I am going to allow myself to have what I would call prop purses because I do lookbooks um, not centered I do lookbooks I do photo shoots um, occasionally I want to just grab a bag that's smaller so I will be keeping not necessarily all practical purses but I will be keeping purses that I will use for different purposes. I have this box of kind of floppy vintage purses and I don't know that I'm going to keep any of them starting with this little pearlized one. It even has a little matching change purse but it's really not my style. Um, then there's a yellow clutch which actually <laughs> Part of the roses are broken off, so. This is a vintage Hawaiian bag that I actually used when we went to visit my sister-in-law, or when we went to my brother-in-law's wedding in Hawaii. I might keep this one as a prop purse to go with some summer outfits because it is very cute. This I've had since I was a kid. It was one of my first play purses, but I don't, I don't ever actually use it for a prop. This is one of those that I thought might be interesting to go with outfits, but I've never grabbed. This one, I think a friend gave to me. There's a brooch in it. A friend gave it to me because it kind of looks like an owl, or maybe I thrifted it. I don't remember, but I don't use it, so. Uh, and then we have this little handbag that uh, I don't remember if I thrifted this or if a friend did, and she sent it to me because I was doing vintage shop at the time. I don't, I don't use bags like this. This one, um, I was into like the carpet bag look for a little while, but honestly, I just, I just don't grab for it. There are some purses within a purse over here, so let's go through these. This is just, I, I don't know that I ever grabbed this one. Within this purse, there's the, the matching bag to the gloves, so if you are, into those if I haven't sold them to a friend first go follow my <laughs> sale insta eventually I will have a bunch of this stuff up for sale these mimic a very very popular um, style of like 1960s box purse every time I carry these somebody asks if they are that particular 
brand of purse they are not but these were my great aunts um when after she passed away my great uncle asked if i wanted them and i said absolutely yes because they are darling these both have a cat like a siamese cat stamped on them so i know they are not whatever that style of purse is however i am keeping them both because they were my great aunts and also because i kind of switched these two out with my other uh, purse in this style. This may come as a shock to a lot of you, but the strawberry purse is going. Um, of all of my strawberry purses, this is my least favorite. This is a modern one from Collective. It is very cute, don't get me wrong. I think it's adorable, but I just don't... I have so many others to choose from that I don't reach for this one. This one is another keep. Um, mostly for prop purposes. This is a vegetable purse with strawberries on the lid. I just think it's so so cute. This is another one that I am keeping. I love the straw look. This is one that I would switch out in the summer uh, depending on where I'm going or what I'm wearing. This needs fixing. This is one of my most beautiful strawberry bags from the 60s. I'm keeping this mainly as a prop purse. It is kind of falling apart on the inside but uh, I think it's really cute. I use it a lot in photos. Um, this is another one that I actually was using to store my makeup in for a while when I travel uh, because it has it has this little tiny mirror on the top which I think is cute. It's all velvety and padded in the inside. I think this is the last of the vintage purses. This is a strawberry bag that I've gotten recently and I have not used to my knowledge in any photo shoots but I will. I forgot about my vegetable purse. I am just very fond of it, but I don't even really use it in photo shoots anymore, and I have a different vegetable purse that I like a lot better, so I think I'm going to let this one go. This is a bag I used back when I worked with Vindula, Vindula Yo London years ago. It is such a beautiful book purse, and I, as many of you may know, I write books, so I have to keep this. I. I'm very drawn to these style of purses, but these are going to be the ones that I have to evaluate whether I actually am going to use them or not. I have this large one. I have this little handbag. I have a <laughs> rose print version, and I have a like scenery version, and I love them. Uh, this biggest one needs to be cleaned out. It has a bunch of sawdust in it. Um, these are bags that I think I'm going to keep for now because I think they're really pretty. I love this style a lot. It's very cottagecore. I think I will keep these because I do really love them. Um, I just don't pull them out because they've been buried with all of those other purses that I did get rid of. And the last purse that I have to talk about is a purse, oh, don't fall, is a purse that I bought myself as a gift for reaching, I think it was for reaching 10 or 15,000 subscribers on YouTube. And it is this Betsy Johnson bag that had this handle on it that kept falling off. And I have to admit I'm a little disappointed that the handle was not staying on. It was stitched with one stitch that broke. And I also don't like how heavy the metal chain is. This, this, uh, this thing does not stay, it, it opens. And I have been carrying groceries in the rain with my kids and my purse has fallen off my shoulder so many times because this clip does not stay. I also really don't like the latch. It's, it's hard to latch. It doesn't push in all the way so I just walked around with an open purse for a while because there's no sturdiness in the front. So it has a lot of things that I don't love and I'm going to let it go. Uh, so that was all of my purses. Let's evaluate some capes.
So before I forget to show, this is my declutter pile here, all the purses, hats, and scarves, and then more decluttering things here. And now I'm going to essentially flip the bed and the dresser, and we shall see how this goes. Okay, the last thing that I want to do is put hats around the dresser, so I have to decide which colors I'm going to pull out to put around them. Probably the pink and the purple, the pastel rainbow or whatever. Um, I might place a few in other spot, nice spots around the room, um, but I'm nearly done. I'm so ready to be done.
right, so I'm not gonna make this long outro because I know this is a very long video, but I am done. I feel so good about the space now. It feels so much better. Obviously, everyone knows that having a tidy room is really nice, but um, I don't have the the internal anxiety of like someday it's gonna be messy again because I got rid of so much and I've always known that I had too much for our space. Like I said, I know this isn't particularly an aesthetic video. This room is not like amazingly designed or anything. Uh, it's just what we have. Eventually I would love to do like wallpaper on this wall and all sorts of things to this bedroom, but for now, just using what I have, it is done. I do plan to put a cover like a curtain over the storage closet because I, we don't really need to see that stuff to know what's in there. Um, but that'll come eventually once I find something that will work for how large the opening is. Thank you for sticking around if you made it through the entire thing. And if you want to see me do the rest of my house, please subscribe. I would love to have you. I have been having so much fun doing this, which I didn't think I would. I thought it would be a lot harder. I thought I would be a lot more, well, I am exhausted, my body hurts. I probably shouldn't have moved all of that furniture by myself. Not so much because it was too heavy, but because, you know, things things get really sore when you're pregnant and now I'm really sore. Somebody asked me in the comments if I regret getting rid of the clothes that I decluttered in the first video of this chapter of the series, if you will. And so far my answer is no, it's been a good, two and a half or three weeks since I did that video and um, I, I don't even think about the clothes that I took out. I haven't wanted to pull anything back into my closet, but I will keep some of it until after I have the baby and I can reevaluate whether I'm still happy with this path of my closet. But for right now, yes, I'm very, very happy with it. I haven't even missed anything. I like being able to go to my closet, see everything I have, not think about, well, what if there's something in the bin I wanna wear? Um, it's all just right there, and that feels really, really good. So now that this room is done, I'm moving on to the rest of my house, and that is where I would say, if you would like to see me declutter my whole entire house, which will be a process and will take a few months, you can subscribe and see how the rest of the house goes. I think it's probably gonna be a lot quicker going through the rest of the house. I don't think any other area will take two or three days, uh, two or three videos, <laughs> I mean because um, this bedroom was kind of the place that I had never purged. I, I rarely got rid of things. I have already done my kids' room, so I will not be showing their room, but I have the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, the sewing area, the sewing stuff. That's gonna be a hard one. Um, and so if you would like to see the rest of the house declutter, please subscribe, follow along if you are interested in vintage fashion or uh, plus size fashion or motherhood or slow living or any of the above, I would love to have you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for getting through this massively long video. I appreciate you so very much and I hope that wherever you are, you are feeling safe and loved and until I see you again, have a beautiful day and thank you for watching. Bye!